What's up guys? Another day with the Mitsubishi Eclipse. So I'm gonna go to AutoZone and see what the service engine Soonlight is about. I can literally check the code myself with that OBD2 reader that I bought, but I just really feel like driving this thing around. And since AutoZone checks codes for free, might as well. I also brought the title with me just in case because I don't have any plates on the car or anything and I ain't trying to get pulled over. But yeah guys, let's go. I'm having way too much fun with this car guys like I seriously don't know if I should sell it or not the only thing that keeps me from wanting to keep this car is the fact that it's automatic and it's not standard we'll see what happens all I know is that it's starting to grow on me but we're here at the AutoZone now so let's check out those codes so I just got the codes read and apparently it's the fuel pressure solenoid that's malfunctioning so I've been looking online for a while and I haven't been able to find that specific part. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they don't make Mitsubishi anymore. So this is the fuel pressure solenoid right here. At least that piece is nothing major that affects the car's performance or the way that it drives. Um, I went ahead and listed it on Facebook and my phone's been blowing up like crazy so hopefully I can sell it. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. It's been a couple hours since I listed the Eclipse on Facebook and I've gotten quite a few messages. Um, so right now I'm going to go meet up with someone that wants to take a look at the car. So we'll see how that goes. I'm almost there but unfortunately this car's starting to mess up. It has something to do with the O-ring that seals the fuel injector. So yeah, I'm going to have to get that replaced if I want to sell this car. So I'm going to have to tell this person that I wasted their time. So that went terrible, guys. I feel like I wasted their time. I mean, the car was working earlier yesterday and today, but literally on my way here, it started messing up. Luckily, though, the part only costs about $1.50. I'm going to go ahead and order it at Advanced Auto Parts, and it should get here tomorrow. And then once that's fixed, it should be driving like normal again. When I drive the car, it literally smells like pure gasoline because it's leaking out of that seal. So guys, I just got back from Advanced Auto Parts. I ordered the seals, one for each injector. And yeah, that's supposed to get here tomorrow at noon. So I'll get that installed and see if it works again. So yeah guys, that's going to wrap up this vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow.